sustainable innovation YouTube channel where we've been talking about sustainable energy efficiency, sustainable farming practices, and water conservation. Today, our topic is going to be on post harvest handling of beans. I'm going to take you through a very simple innovation on how we can be able to effectively store our beans which we can be able to use for planting and also for good food consumption. We always find that farmers work so hard on their farms but in the long run how to store their produce becomes a challenge. After harvesting you realize that three months later you have Beans have been destroyed by weevils. You are out of with nothing. And yet, you planned that you're supposed to use this for quite some time. You were supposed to sell it so that you can have household income. The process I'm going to show you is very simple. You'll be needing jerry cans in the process or plastic containers to help you in the process. When selecting the plastic containers, Make sure that the containers you are using did not contain any kind of chemical or DSL because even if you wash it, the residues in them will not be over within that period of time and they may not be very safe for human consumption. So when you are using containers, please try to use containers which had or cooking oil in them, which you are very sure are safe, and at the same time, maybe water bottles to help us in the process. So, for you to do this effectively, the process is very simple. After harvesting your beans from the field, bring it home, and then air dry it using either tampoline or just a black polythene paper. When you have the black polythene paper, take your beans and just spread it on the polythene paper or the chapolin, leave it on the dry sun for minimum eight hours for two days. After doing this, spreading it very well, to make sure that you have high retention and using energy to help you dry this your beans properly, cover it with the sun so that if you put it in this way, the heat inside here is going to be very high and it's going to fasten the drying process and the moisture content in the beans is going to be very low. When all this is done, your containers are ready. The next stage is to do the selection. Don't just get this thing and put it back for storage. From your beans, select any beans that have been damaged or that which is not in good condition before you put everything. Collect all the beans that you are very sure are not in good shape. When collecting, look for the damaged ones, the ones which are deformed, and the ones you are very, very sure has some defects, which are not good for storage. At this point, after collecting all these bad ones, you can be able to throw these bad ones or keep them aside, and then the ones you've decided that this is my final beans that I want to store, which you can either use for cooking, and apart from cooking, you can also plant them or replow them back into your farm. Then get that your container. After you've gotten your container, fill it to the brim with the beans that you have properly selected. During this process, Make sure that you are reducing the amount of air in these plastic containers you are using. After you just place it this way, you might think it is full, but at yet it is not full. Tap it high so that it can be able to be fully packed. From that point you thought it was full, but now see all this space. Would it be that you just left it at that point? Believe me, even the process would have not worked for you because it was not full. What you have to make sure that it is full, no air space. Reduce that space. That space is what the brachet larvae is going to use to help it grow. And then the next step is just to pick and close it airtight. 
and when you are closing it extra tight, make sure it is really tight. Add even this polythene to make sure that it is really airtight. At this point, your beans will be able to stay for six months without any problem. No air space here. It is able to stay for six months and within six months you can be able to use the same beans for planting. And the germination rate at this point is a hundred percent. After that six months, the germination rate will be lower, even if you plant the same beans. But if you want to use, you are storing your beans for household consumption. You can store it in this situation as long as you want. But remember this part. Assume that you have several of these containers with beans full in them. When you want to use them, once you have opened this container, you have allowed air to go in. And when you allow air to go in, you use this one until all this part is depleted. You don't have to use all at once, but you can use it as needed until all the all the ones here is finished before you go to the next container. Because the moment you open this, you open this, you open this, you have allowed air to circulate here, allowed air to circulate here, allowed air to circulate. You are giving the weevils rooms to start growing. And if you just do it here, the moment you finish this, this is still very safe and preserved. And for that reason, you can be able to enjoy your meals, sell them as needed, without any problem. And you'll not be able to run at the post-harvest handling of the beans at any moment. Please remember to subscribe to this channel, leave us a comment and let us know which direction or whatever you've learned out from this channel. And above all that, don't forget to like this channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next episode. I want to take this opportunity to sincerely thank Apteryx Media for their amazing job that they've been doing. They have been volunteering to cover sustainable innovation issues cost free. Thank you so much for taking your time. And I hope that God will surely bless the work of your heart. Thank you.